Guys, we're jumping in with a very quick video right here, but the Root of Nightmares raid has now been completed. And the world's first completion goes to Team Hard in the Paint. Yes, that is their clan name. And those guys managed to get the raid cleared in about two and a half hours, which is pretty impressive for a brand new raid. A lot of teams are still trying to clear it right now. But with the raid finished, there is a new cutscene that's gone live in the game, so we'll check that out. But there are also some new collectibles on Neomuna, which have popped up following the completion of the raid. In addition to that, though, we can also preview some of the gear from the raid now, so we can see it in collections, including the new exotic weapons. So we'll take a look at those last very quickly. But I'll give a bit of a spoiler alert in case you are trying to avoid them. Otherwise, though, let's jump into it. So first thing to mention, but there are some new collectibles called Apogee Repeaters. And these appear in a bunch of different locations on Neomuna. So if you head to the Neomuna Triumphs under Secrets, it does actually list how many of them can be found in each area. It doesn't list a reward for collecting all of them, so I'm not sure if this will lead to anything more. But of course we can complete the Triumphs, and for each of them that we grab, we get a thousand Glimmer as well as a hundred Neomuna rank. So they'll certainly be worth grabbing if you're trying to level up at Nimbus. There may be a bit of a teaser as to what these collectibles may be for though, at least in terms of story, in the new cutscene which has dropped after the completion of the raid. So if you want to check the cutscene out in full, here it is. While our attention was drawn to Neptune, something wicked steered in the Witness's Pyramid. A life force thought to be lost, unknowingly revived by the Traveler's terraforming power. Its defensive display forever imprinted upon the vessel. The infamous Final God of Pain sought to use this paracausal power for his own curiosities. But it proved to be his final mistake. The people of Neomuna may now be free of Nazarek's influence, but the Cabal and Vex remain at their doorstep. Though an unanswerable question remains on all our minds. Where has the witness gone? We must begin our search in the pieces it has left behind. It will not succeed for as long as we remain in existence. Pretty cool cutscene right there. And Osiris says the unanswerable question that remains on our minds is where has the witness gone? And he says we must begin our search in the pieces that it has left behind. Presumably that refers to the Apogee Repeaters, so there could be more to this once all of them are found. Here though, very quickly, we can now get a look at the new exotic for the raid. So, spoiler alert, naturally, is necessary here. It is visible in collections, and it's the conditional finality, a new exotic shotgun right here, and it comes with the intrinsic trait Split Decision, with dual barrels that split into stasis and solar damage. So it does fire both elements at once, but additionally, it has paracausal pellets, and landing nearly all stasis pellets will freeze targets, then landing nearly all solar pellets will ignite them. Actually looks like it could be a pretty fun exotic. And it has shortened barrel as well as alloy magazine and textured grip as well. On top of that though, just in case you want a quick preview and you haven't seen any drop in in the raid yet, but we can also view the raid legendary weapons in collections. So there's things like Rufus's Fury, a new auto rifle, as well as Mikkel's Revenge, the sidearm, and Nessa's Ablation, which is a new shotgun. They have some pretty cool visual effects on them at the very least, and it looks like they're dropping with some new perks. On top of this, if you fancy it, you can preview the raid armor as well. Otherwise though, I can't tell you any more about content unlocking after the raid, but I thought a quick update video would be cool. So congrats to the world first completion. If you're still in the raid, have fun. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in. I'll keep you posted if any other secrets pop up following the completion of that collectible. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day. 